Deadline for the governor to decide on a casino proposal for Muskegon County is just days away. That decision could be pushed back for up to six more months. News 8's Kyle Mitchell has an update now on the project. This project at a former horse track just outside of Muskegon has been in the proposal stages for more than a decade. The plans call for a casino with a 70,000 square foot gaming floor and 220 hotel rooms near the US 31 and I 96 interchange. We've been working very hard over the last 12 years to make sure that we uh, did everything that we needed to get the approval from the Department of Interior. The governor has until Wednesday to weigh in on a proposal submitted a year ago. The leader of the Little River Band of Ottawa Indians expects the governor will ask for the deadline to be extended another six months. Her staff has been very busy. Obviously, we've all been busy with COVID and all the effects of COVID. So they probably need a little more time for this. A spokesperson for the governor tells News 8 the proposed development remains under review. Most of the buildings on this site have been demolished with the exception of some old horse stables, which would give the tribe a blank canvas to build on. The quicker we learn about the decision, uh, the quicker they'll be able to begin construction on it. Muskegon County Community Development Director Bob Lukin says the project will bring jobs to the area and will help grow tourism. We have the lake, we have Michigan's Adventure, we have a variety of attractions here, but uh, adding a casino to it I think would be very important as a destination. In Muskegon County, Kyle Mitchell, News 8.